Hello, Buzzercats! Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Season 6, where we start off on a brand new Asteroids Volcania. Seems to be a bit on the hot side, so it's a good thing that uh, we also have large glaciers, a frozen core, uh, slime molds, not too bad. Uh, I don't mind the trapped oil. Um, that should not be that difficult. For story traits, I have basically disabled everything uh, aside from the biobot. We uh, experimented with all of them in the last season uh, and found that, well, maybe some of them have uh, uh, some some niche uh, uh, benefits. Uh, others are just the plain useless. But I think Biobot Bill that can help us. So let's start that game and uh, while that happens I can tell you a bit about what this season is all about. Uh, because each season I set myself a unique challenge uh, and this time um, we want to have um, an, uh, research as well. Uh, this time we want to focus on ranching. So uh, what what we will do is uh, have basically a ranch for all the animals that we can get. And I think this setup is is good. And apart from that, uh, we will probably also require a few a few farms um, to to go along with that. Uh, but we will we will see. So as of course as always first things first um, we need a bit of uh, plumbing uh, and our outhouses and have priority on these a bit higher and with that we are off to a good start. Maybe also let's have a look at temperatures. We have here a bit of a, a green area. Uh, we do have a bit of, uh, of water down there. So I think what we will actually do is have a ladder going down there. basically pick up this this water here from the side so it's it's not uh, directly spilling, spilling over and as we have done in various uh, season with uh, the progress so I think uh, there is not much new that I can show you in, in with regards to base building uh, but uh, we will for sure uh, focus on the aspect um, of uh, the ranching. So with that said, I think we will hop on to the point where we have uh, the, the first ranch that, that we need to, to build. And uh, at that point, I can catch you up uh, with all the other things that happened since the last cut. We have made quite a bit of progress. We have the start of our mealwood farm. Very still liking seeds for it, but uh, in due time, we will have more seeds than we can. Um, 
we ever need. We also have a uh, mouse hall, or almost a mouse hall, it's just a bit big at the moment. We have a sleeping quarter, and this will be our ranch for the hatches. So, in the meantime, we can actually do a creature drop off and a feeding station. And we will also then later on have the. Uh, the what is it called? The, uh, the grooming station. Should be able to. Uh, yeah, there it is. Grooming station. That should be good for the ranch. This is the maximum size we can have for it. And that's that then. We also have now four duplicants because uh, Nils here came along as uh, loving farming and ranching. So uh, I thought I cannot give up on, on that opportunity because we need a rancher to uh, ranch all our animals. And I'm not uh, so sure if we will actually then ranch all variants of the animals. Uh, I mean, for some we will for sure, um, but I don't plan to, uh, to focus on getting all the, uh, the different um, variants that we need. So, Let's set up the drop off here, and uh, once we can uh, upgrade nails to the to the ranching, he should be able to uh, wrangle uh, the, uh, the hatches that are running around there. And uh, I mean, with the with the setup that we have here. We already have two rooms, three rooms actually, so that helps with the morale of the duplicant. Once the, the mess hall is done, that will also help greatly. And then probably the, the next step there is upgrading uh, the, the food supply with some other funds. So now let's actually see what we will feed them. And I think it's probably a combination of sand and sandstone. Because dirt, uh, we will need for uh, the foreseeable future. So uh, until we have a sustainable uh, income of uh, dirt, we should go with that sparingly and research is done so we can move ahead and uh, tick the uh, the various uh, boxes off that that we have there and up here you can see we have a bit of uh, a storage area uh, let out and uh, we just have to make sure that we are not draining uh, this port here. And yeah, so I think we will have to wait a bit uh, until uh, uh, we can upgrade our duplicates with uh, more skills. And then we will actually have our very first farm. All our duplicates have now reached the next job level, which means uh, Nails here will be able to uh, snatch those uh, hatchets that uh, are running around here. And out of the printing pot, we also got three uh, hatchling eggs that we will add here. And I have been trying to uh, clean up 
this room here so that the hatches do not eat the debris here lying on the floor with actually what we uh, provide for them. Currently, we are not growing enough food for our duplicates and that can be a difficult situation. Uh, maybe we have uh, to uh, slaughter some of the, the hatches here to get a bit of meat out. But down here in the vault, we do still have a few resources left that we can uh, touch into. Um, and uh, we shall do that. And we also um, are looking around the area a bit to figure out what else we have here on this world. Looking at this, we do have quite a large greenish area, which is temperate um, in temperature. Uh, but I guess uh, the the warm that all is all around it uh, will soon creep in. So we will have to figure something out for cooling. Um, but also uh, we have to find uh, a way to produce oxygen out of the water. And currently we do have quite a few water bodies that we could tap into. But of course I would place, I would like to place the uh, oxygen production um, at a location where we can then later on supply water from a different source. Um, but so far we have not yet uncovered anything in that regard. I had to thin out our hedges here a bit because of food necessities and the last one that we have here just have slat an egg and I think he will not lay another one before he dies at the uh, ripe old age of 100 cycles. But down here we also have some eggs. I think this one is the oldest, which should be uh, hatching very soon. On the other side of the, the farm, I added here a few bristle blossoms. They provide a better food source. Um, and by now we should have enough uh, crops growing here to feed our duplicates and we're still here quite a bit in, in the red but that's okay i'll say we just got another batch of uh, hatchling eggs here uh, so the first hatch probably will hatch soon other eggs have hatched and we have three additional edges, uh, eggs in here. Um, and as you can see, there is also the preparation for uh, uh, a kitchen going on. And here on this side, down here, we have a cool steam vent. So eventually we will use that for our oxygen production, but even if it's cool, it's still steam, so uh, uh, still a bit hot. But luckily over here we have an ice biome that we can initially use to cool down the oxygen that comes out of here. And with that, I think we'll call this first episode of uh, Oxygen uh, Not Included on Vulcania a success and we will see uh, where we pick up uh, next time what we will ranch in the next episode we do have uh, uh, pakus here and we have puffs here that we can um, deal with and uh, i think we will just have to wait and see what the second episode brings 
Until then, goodbye.